I'm here in the name of uh, Barack Artist. Uh, that thing, what is called Barack Artist. Um, in order to understand this phrase, life with no ego, we have to go back to the roots to understand the real concept. Um, so I think I will start with, I love my family. I love my parents. And I know that they love me. Um, I'm that James Bond with uh, uh, sunglasses in the back. Um, yeah, the problem was that nobody in my family understands art. Nobody wants to understand art. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a, a little bit problem. It's a, it's a small problem in uh, what kind of career I chose. Um, but I have a beautiful family. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, the only member in my family who kind of was uh, with the artistic uh, uh, part, it was my grandfather. He was an electrician. Uh, <laughs> but his hobby was painting. So uh, during my uh, childhood, I started a lot of conversa conversations with him about paints, uh, about brushes, about canvases, and all that stuff. Um, during the high school, I was involved. I was so, I, I had to do something, you know. I couldn't stay. I wanted to do something, you know, and not just something, to be involved. So um, it was kind of uh, interesting. One day, one teacher of mine asked me, Mihai, wh why you are so involved in the community, in, in the education? Why, why are you so interested about this? And I said to him, this idea of not being involved and being unuseful was killing me. You know, I couldn't go to sleep if I didn't have in my mind that if when I go, when I w woke up, when I wake up in the morning, I don't know what to do. You know, like that, that idea was killing me. I had to know something. I had to do something for my community at least, you know. When the university time came, I'm the, the guy on the right, you know. So when uh, the university uh, time came, I had a lot of conversations with my family. Mihai, what are you doing now? You have to have a sure job. You have to have a, a family. You have to have a bank account and some nephews, you know, at least. And, uh, you know, that was my cold approach from my family. Yeah, it, it was tough. It was a tough moment, you know. But I respect them, you know. So I had to do six years of compromise. I applied to the University of uh, Construction, so I'm also a surveying engineer, like land measurements and all those stuff. After six years, I gave my parents um, uh, my degree, and I, I told them, uh, my, my lovely parents, right now I have to do something with my soul, with my heart, you know. So I had to, to, to do a move in my life. And then, uh, you know, I, I forgot to tell you, I graduated, yeah. <laughs> and then my life kind of started to, to happen, you know. I applied to, to the Faculty of Arts and Design in Timisoara, where I come from, uh, in Romania. And uh, stuff started to change, you know. Everything, it was like a magic, you know. Uh, things started to come to me, you know. And um, those are my friends, those are my colleagues, and that's my teacher. After one year and a half, I started to, uh, to think what should I do, um, you know, to have some resources because art is kind of expensive. So I had to, you know, pay for paints, canvas. So I started to think about America <laughs> and uh, the land of uh, opportunities. And I went with uh, the work and travel program for students. I went three years uh, 
in America to work in a restaurant, and I wanted to build a financial situation for what in Romania uh, it will come. So, um, yeah, that was my approach, and that's my uh, colleagues at work. These are my guys. Uh, this is what is happening uh, right now and uh, for the last six years. <laughs> Um, from the left, it's David. In the middle, it's Paul. In the right, it's Adi and Amihai. Yeah, so um, I met these guys. They are coming from Arad. It's another city uh, close to Timisoara. And the, the, the magic is we kind of connected so strong. You cannot believe. I mean, we are so powerful together with the, our concepts and our you know, um, uh, imagination. We are, you know, putti putting together in a spot. We understood that we can make a difference. I don't know how it happened, you know. Uh, I just applied to the faculty, you know, and I told you the magic started. Um, you know, we, in the first year, we just talk about art, about artists, about contemporary art, what is contemporary art? And uh, we wanted to know all the artists in the world. So we spent a lot of time together find the artists and uh, find that kind of art that inspire us. And then we, st we started to have this uh, a big project in our head about a, um, a Rembrandt's painting. It was um, the Night Watch painting. I think all of you knows about this painting. So we started to have this idea on a big canvas. It was uh, the project uh, uh, which we thought about this. Uh, it had to be a six, uh, uh, seven on four meters uh, size canvas. So you know the, the walls of the university. You cannot find such a big wall in the university, especially in Timisoara. It's a, it's a big city, but not so big. And um, we started to walk around the school. We started to walk and talk. And from nowhere, this building came, you know? This old warehouse came in front of us. And we just, you know, opened the door. And when we opened the door, we found a lot of garbage. We found a lot of garbage. You know, we, we, ha we, we have a saying. We, we, uh, first, when we came there, the, uh, we found a lot of rats, shed, and condoms. Sorry for, yeah, but uh, it was nothing. We saw the opportunity, you know? We saw the walls, we saw the building, we saw us. And then we started to put the uh, big canvas on the, on the wall. Uh, that's the Rembrandt painting. And uh, we started to approach this canvas in our manner. We, you know, we, we kind of made a battle with the canvas. We started to uh, use brooms. We started to uh, use rags. We started to paint with our body. It was like nuts. It was crazy. It felt awesome. And after three days, we painted this in three days, and this is the final result. Yeah, I don't want to be like cocky and say how good painters we are. No, it's not my point. But the thing is, we, in that moment, we understood that we are in a, in, a, in a place, in a very special moment, where we have to do something with us and with this place. And then, um, you know, we just, uh, everything came by the nature, you know. We started to, to work, you know, each, each one of us started to um, paint, started to sculpt, started to make installation. So in the, in the beginning, we were four individuals. And after a while, people came to our, uh, to our space and asked us, guys, what are you doing here? Uh, which one is that sculpture? Which, who, who painted this? And we didn't know what to say, because uh, we just uh, found out that uh, everything in Baraka was made, was made uh, in a collective work. It was made by a group. So 
what was mine, it was also at Paul, to Paul and uh, other guys, David and Adi. So we build everything we did together because of the conversations, because of the experiences together. So it was a magical moment that we understood in that moment that uh, we are not Mihai, Paul, David and Adi, we are Baraka artists. And we are a pure artistic entity based on, uh, uh, based on uh, honesty, dedication and work ethic. We love to work, you know. For us, three, three o'clock in the morning is like five, uh, 5 p.m. in the afternoon. So we don't have time. In Baraka, there is no time. So for us, working together is such a bless. And it's, it's, it's insane. And I started to, uh, like now, to spread the words. And people kind of related to our story. It's incredible. Uh, yeah. And this, uh, these are my guys, you know. And we, we build together everything. It's... Um, we had the gut, I forgot to tell you, but we didn't ask in the first, who's that building? We just opened the door and it was us. You know, like this. And of course, after one year, somebody, some authorities came and asked us, what are you doing guys here? You know, you have to, you know, looking for a paper and signatures and all this stuff. You know, it came by here and it goes like that. It's, <laughs> when you want to do something, you have to do it. There are no rules for your dream, you know. It's, uh, it's that approach. It's that approach that we wanted to do. And that's, that's uh, images for, from Baraka, yes. It, it's, it's a magical place. It's a magical place, but we figure out that the place, it's us. There is no walls when we are there. And um, there is a big project right now that we are working at. In front of Baraka, because Baraka, geographically speaking, it's in the middle um, between two interesting concepts, two, interested, uh, two, two interesting uh, um, institutions. There is, on the left, it's Museum of Revolution, and in the right, guess what? It's the prison of Timisoara. So, <laughs> uh, we are in the middle, contemporary art. It's interesting. <laughs> but um, in front of us, it's a very large field, empty field. You know, time to time, prisoners are putting to cut the grass, but nothing else. And we, we thought about this, and we said, we have to do now something, because we did something with the building. Let's do something with the field. And we came with this concept of a contemporary art gallery with no walls. Can you imagine? So there is, the gallery is in front of the, of the field. It's a, a small hill in the middle of the field. So we put it, we put it a sculpture. We put it a sculpture in the middle of the hill and it was the first major, uh, first major uh, exhibition on our very nice uh, contemporary art gallery with no walls. Yeah, so this is our first uh, interaction with the gallery. Yeah, it, you, you can see there a skull with a Hitler mustache. Don't, don't take it personal. But, <laughs> uh, you know, we are artists. We play with concepts. For us, this image is abstract. There is no figurative thing, okay? And, uh, yeah, this is us. Can you imagine if, if I could go back in the past and if I couldn't um, um, uh, say yes to, uh, to my parents that I have to apply to the first university and do this sacrifice for six years and study something else that my heart was telling me to study, today it wouldn't be Barack artist. And... Um, you know, our story is inspiring for us. I want you to have your own story. 
to inspire, to be inspired, uh, to be an inspiration for you, you know? So each one of us have to put the ego down to make a difference, you know? So my advice to you is to start controlling your ego in order to control your life. Thank you so much.